Welcome to Tactical, the multiplayer shooter game that's become a favorite among mobile gamers around the world. With great graphics, unique designs, wide variety of weapons, customizable characters and intense multiplayer battles that will keep you on the edge of your seat for hours on end. Don't miss out on the action-packed fun, download Tactical now and join the fight. Welcome to our Tactical community. Whether you're a regular or just getting started with the game, we hope that you enjoyed that little clip for what Tactical has to offer. Today, we're taking a closer look at the assault rifles, the old ARX 160 and the new Cult M. We'll be comparing the pros and cons of each weapon, discussing their unique features, and ultimately determining which one is the better choice for players in today's game. Let's start with the old AR, the trusty firearm that has been a staple in Tactical since the game's inception. Over time, this gun has changed so many times that it's hard to keep track of its various updates. However, despite all of these changes, it has always lacked interest among players until a recent update that helped boost its accuracy. This weapon is a reliable choice for long-range engagements of 18.9. With its decent accuracy and damage power, the old AR is a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. It also has a respectable fire rate of 584, allowing for rapid fire when necessary. In the right hands, this weapon can take down even the most heavily armored opponents with ease. However, the downside to the old AR is its lack of versatility. It's not great for close quarters combat, and its damage power is far less compared to the new AR and some of the game's other weapons. As a result, players who prefer a more aggressive playstyle may find themselves at a disadvantage when using this gun. That being said, the accuracy boost has definitely made the old AR a much more appealing choice for players who enjoy engaging their enemies from a distance. With its reliable performance and time-tested design, the old AR is a weapon that every tactical player should consider adding to their arsenal. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or a newcomer to the game, this gun is sure to provide hours of intense, high-stakes action. The ARX 160 feels best with Dutch. While it feels good with JB, I notice the rapid fire becomes deadly as long as your shots land. But on the other hand, I felt JB is better with new Cult MAR. Maybe it's because with cluster of shots it's more important to be accurate. But let's take a look at the new AR, which was introduced to the game more recently. The first thing you will notice about Cult M is that it has burst of fire unlike the old AR. Some people love the sound that it makes, while others get scared of it, maybe because it's damage power. The damage goes to 755 when maxed, which is 278 more damage than the old AR. This alone makes this gun more dangerous, but sometimes the burst fire makes it limited and may be equal to the old ARX 160. Cult M is a bit faster when moving around, while range is smaller at 16.8 and ammunition at 36. But for some reason, you'll never feel like you are running out until you do. And when the bullets run out, you are at a better luck because it has a faster reload speed than the old AR. Unlike the old AR, this weapon is highly effective in close quarters combat, yet, I wouldn't consider it great for close quarters engagements, since M20 can come out of nowhere and slap you like Will Smith. By the way, M20 is now called XL20, and don't ask me why because I have no idea. Speaking of XL20, these two guns are both best against the shotgun for open maps. But I felt that the new AR with its shorter range puts it in disadvantage. This isn't the case all the time, since it has higher damage, and it can take enemies out with only a few bursts of shots. I ran a few operators on both of these guns, and at some point I tried it with Moreau because I was getting flashed too often. That combo didn't feel amazing but it had its moments, and of course it is a blessing not being blinded for a little bit. It's also great being able to shoot in smoke, but it's harder to aim in smoke even with the sixth talent. JB and Dutch are good as well, however, one operator stood out by surprise. Sloy. Sloy's ability to wield the Coltem Assault Rifle has been the most exciting option for me. It's so much fun to use Sloy and the Coltem together, especially when dashing around and utilizing the burst fire of the weapon. With this combination, it's easy to take out enemies from a distance and keep dashing around to avoid being hit. 
With each dash, it disorients enemies' momentum and Zloy's superpower gas is another reason why I recommend this operator. It makes it difficult for enemies to come close to you, allowing you to pick them off from afar. The gas can also deal damage to enemies when they are trying to chase you, making it an excellent tool for escape and defense. Any sort of machine gun will struggle against this loadout. Its dashing ability makes it hard for enemy to maintain steady shooting, while the Cultum gives you the advantage to take them down. As much as I find this loadout trilling to use, it also has its weakness. First of all, you can't use this loadout on small maps. It will struggle against flash, an easy target for mines. It can take some experimentation and trial and error, but once you get the hang of it then it'll feel like a match made in heaven. My games were a lot more fun with Sloy over all the other operators when using the AR. I'll post some videos later of both ARs with different operators. At the end, I genuinely think both of the ARs have their own ability which makes them both great. I found the old AR best with Dutch because of its fire rate, while the new AR felt better with JB and Sloy. I couldn't really single out the two from each other. I would constantly switch back and forth between the two guns, but I did find myself playing more with the Cult M. Thank you for watching, I hope it helped explain the two guns a bit better. Don't forget to give some love, like and comment. Also don't forget to participate in the giveaways. Cobra cynical. Maxed out never minimal. That's how we function. Cobra is critical. Cobra cynical. Maxed out never minimal. What was it like? So when I step to the high road, I see CCTV and cameras. They're going hard for the bitches and the future. From the street vendors to the bank of boys in blue. Who was looking for a problem? There's a price to pay when you're a black man. There's a next one pressure in both sides. You don't give a fuck or we call in the cats, man. Yo, so welcome to London, fam. Probably even got that abundance, fam. Some are homeless, some are reckless. You'll get fucked if you walk up on that London gang. You say, the London plans, but work it and mash up with your London plans. You can't argue when you start charging congestion. That's why I'm a London scam. Cold is critical.
queer. Huh. But these nigga bitches let me deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah.